So glad to have you on NFL Live. Some interesting quarterbacks to watch heading into their second pro year next season. How do they grow from their rookie season? Of course, Zach Wilson, Trevor Lawrence, Mac Jones, Trey Lance, Justin Fields, all names that come to mind, right? But don't forget Davis Mills with the Texans, who got lost in that rookie shuffle at times and actually performed really well last season. So a little more on that. Aside from Mac Jones, the 2021 rookie quarterback class had their fair share of issues last season. Mac and the Pats finished 10 and seven, made the playoffs. No other rookie QB finished with more than three wins. And as I said, it was actually third rounder Davis Mills who finished second among rookie QBs in total QBR. Over his last five starts, Davis Mills ranked in the top 15 of the league in total QBR, yards per attempt and touchdown passes while throwing just two interceptions over that stretch. And that stretch will likely keep the Texans from drafting a quarterback high in April's draft, but feels like they really don't need one. What do you think, Lewis? Could Mills be the guy of the future for the Texans? Laura, I absolutely believe so. I think yeah. when, look, coming out of Stanford, had he not, had he been at a bigger, let's just say, had he been in the SEC school, or maybe even a Big Ten school, and look, Stanford's nothing to sneeze at, but look, if had he been on a football team where <laughs> he had even better high-level players around him, and his football team was on a national stage every week, you would have realized that this was one of the best pure pocket passers yeah. in coming out in the draft that year. And he's a guy who then obviously went through some growing pains down there in Houston. All And all of it wasn't, you know, of his own doing. All of it wasn't self-inflicted. He didn't have a lot of weaponry around him. He didn't have a lot of great protection around him. They weren't just, they weren't a good football team. And he continued to grow and develop and progress to where the last month of the season you start sitting there looking at him, whether it be as a fan, as an administrator, or as a coach, or as a teammate, and you go, hey, man, maybe we're on to something here. Hmm. This is a guy who, if we can surround him with the kind of talent that Justin Herbert has around, around him out at the skill positions, the kind of talent that Patrick Mahomes has around him at the skill positions, the kind of talent that Joe Burrow has around him at the skill positions in, in Cincinnati. I'm not going to say anything about their offensive line, but their <laughs> skill positions. Hey, Davis Mills could put up some big-time numbers because he is a smooth, smooth operator, man. And I'm right, on, I'm right in line with Lovey Smith 100%. Yeah, I mean, what do you expect Lovey to say in this situation? They have a, the cloud of Deshaun Watson that's hovering over the organization. They have the firing of David Culley and, and, and Lovey being promoted from within that still people are still talking about. But, you know, Davis Mills, uh, what him and Pep Hamilton did at, did at the end of the year was nothing short of a miracle, getting him to play that well after he had a couple rough outings early in the year. But his record as a starter at 2-9, and nine, that speaks to how bad of a team they are. But what they saw and how he progressed throughout the year, it gives them belief that at least for another year he should get an opportunity to go out and prove that he can be the long-term solution for the Houston Texans. I like it. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.